Gaming Vault presents 15 things you need to know before you buy Horizon Zero Dawn. Of the many high-profile titles out in February, and 2017 for that matter, it's Horizon Zero Dawn that has us most intrigued. Who else expected an open-world action RPG from Guerrilla Games, a studio best known for its shooters? However, Horizon Zero Dawn won't be another Witcher 3 or Skyrim. There's plenty about this game's post-apocalyptic, robot-infested identity than meets the eye, but is it worth looking into? Let's examine 15 things you need to know before buying Horizon Zero Dawn. PS4 Pro Enhancements Horizon Zero Dawn isn't just an example of what the PS4 is capable of. It's also meant to show off what the PS4 Pro can do. Along with HDR and 2160p checkerboard rendering, the game will also offer high-quality visuals on 1080p displays. Features like super sampling, enhanced shadow maps, better anisotropic filtering, and more will help enhance this experience for those with full HD screens. Tallnecks As a twist on the towers concept seen in many other open-world titles, Horizon Zero Dawn's Tallnecks will serve as more fluid challenges. After locating the tall neck in question, you have to clear the area of foes around it. From there, you need to jump off of something to reach it and then ascend the creature's neck to the top. Reaching the top unlocks more of the map, much like a tower, but this is a neat way to freshen up the concept for Horizon's world. Economy Crafting in Horizon Zero Dawn is essential, but so is resource gathering. That's because there's a large economy based on whatever you obtain from the machines. So while you could use those resources to upgrade your own tools, they can also be used for trading between tribes and finding something that you need. Skill Tree Like many action RPGs, Horizon Zero Dawn boasts a skill tree for Alloy to learn new abilities from. This is broken up into three categories, Prowler for Stealth, Brave for Combat, and Forager for Resource Gathering. Abilities like silent takedowns, slowing down time to aim your bow, moving faster while holding heavy weapons, and luring targets are just a few select abilities to look forward to. Map Size Guerrilla Games has indicated in the past that Horizon Zero Dawn's map size is comparable to other recent open world games. Naturally, you'd assume this meant it was akin to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. However, a recent leak indicated that the world may be equal to Velen from The Witcher 3 which isn't all that bad considered. With the game being delayed due to its overall size, you can expect a huge map with tons of activities regardless. Multiple tribes and hunting lodges. Since the world has collapsed, humanity has regressed to the older days and organized into tribes. Alloy's tribe, the Braves, are the first to begin hunting the machines. Then there's the Nora, a tribe that is strongly opposed to ancient technology and appoints women as its leaders. You also run into various representatives from hunting lodges that task you with killing a number of enemies within a given time limit. Complete these challenges and you might find yourself moving up the lodge's hierarchy. Human Enemies The recent cinematic trailer indicated that not all humans are friendly. In fact, there's a mysterious group of humans that's capable of controlling the machines. How do they fit into the narrative and why are they out to get everyone? We don't know yet, but Alloy will have to contend with them at some point. Swords Not all that interested in shooting your enemies with bows and arrows. Also, sorry, Hanzo mains. Don't worry, Horizon Zero Dawn will allow you to get up close and personal with swords. Though Gorilla hasn't confirmed the same, reputed industry insider Shinobi602, who also revealed in advance that Horizon would be delayed, said that swords are indeed in the menu. No season pass or microtransactions. While the lack of microtransactions makes sense, since there's no multiplayer component or endurance mode like Rise of the Tomb Raider, it's surprising to hear that there isn't a season pass. Guerrilla Games did note that season pass content hasn't been planned yet, so it could likely come later, but it's good to know that all planned content is currently in the base game itself. Hack nearly every machine. Much like the mysterious human enemies, Alloy can hack the machines around her. While we've already seen her hack some beast for the purposes of riding around with a trusty steed, however, you can hack almost every machine in the game, including the giant Thunderjaw seen in the first trailer. While they may only stay friendly for a short period of time, hacking is said to reward the player appropriately. And we can't think of any better reward than a giant mecha T-Rex to cause destruction with. Robots with Personality The creatures inhabiting the world of Horizon are an interesting mix of animalistic and mechanical. 
What's even more interesting is how they each have unique sounds for conveying their emotions and distinguishing themselves from each other. For example, a shell walker will make different sounds while working as opposed to when he's angry. Each machine has 200 to 300 different sounds for conveying their states and extensive animation work has also been done to properly convey their personalities. Shifting Machine Behaviors We've seen the Watchers, machines that alert their cohorts when danger is near. Well, what if a Watcher isn't nearby to warn a Grazer, one of the more peaceful, slower machines, of your presence? The Grazer will then assume the role of patrolling and can turn aggressively alpha if you're not careful. This kind of behavior will be seen in other machines, thus slotting into roles like intelligent robot AI would. GPU Runtime Tech for World Generation how is Horizon creating its huge open world anyways? According to Gorilla, there's a new GPU-based runtime technology that procedurally generates the world around you, including the wildlife. While the environment is still very much created and refined by hand, it's very useful for rendering the immense expanses of the game. Corruption Zones One of the open world activities in Horizon Zero Dawn is a corruption zone. This is where you'll find corrupted enemies, though Gorilla hasn't gone into specifics on how much tougher they'll be. Expect the toughest fights in corruption zones based on their level. Don't worry, clearing a corruption zone is said to make the other neighboring missions easier. Nonviolent resource gathering. We've already talked about the economy in Horizon Zero Dawn and how it's reliant on resources gathered by hunting machines. However, you don't have to destroy the machines if you don't want to. It's entirely possible to, say, hit a weak point on a shell walker and pick up the cargo that it drops. This can be useful if you're not in the mood for combat. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.